Hi guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, you will find out how to create a trading strategy and what a trading strategy really is. So stay tuned. Okay, hi and welcome back. So I bet you heard in your trading journey, you got to stick to your plan. You got to stick to your trading system. You got to stick to your trading uh, strategy. You got to follow your rules and bunch of the terms that have a similar uh, wording, right? And I bet that a lot of people don't even know what a trading system is and wor what a trading strategy is. Uh, and they don't know how to create one. So I decided to record a video once for all because for the past three years I've been hearing, hearing the same thing. You gotta follow your rules. You gotta follow your trading system. You gotta believe in it. And I was like, uh-huh, yeah, so what is a trading system? And then yet a lot of people were t uh, telling me you gotta backtest it. By backtesting I, I, I always thought, okay, so I go, you know, go historically see this i'm taking this i'm not not taking this taking this not taking this you know in in 10 minutes i would have okay i back tested i think it's profitable the core the important word is i think it's profitable let me go trade it and then i was blowing up uh, accounts completely like many many times until i found out what a back testing really is how ruling the process is how boring it is uh <laughs> you know and then i started creating my own strategies so in this video, I want to show you what a trading strategy really is. It's like a set of rules. That's all. And I was thinking what kind of strategy can I show you right here that you might not heard of it uh, before watching this video. And I was thinking maybe I can do a bad pattern or a cipher or Gartley. But a lot of people are teaching harmonic patterns. I have a few videos on this channel as well. So I said, no, let's. You know, think of something, man, you can do it. So I said, okay, so it's going to be pretty simple one, a trend following or trend, you know, a trend strategy, something like it. And let's put the EMAs on a chart. So I said, I don't know what EMA 20 is for. I just know that I put it on a chart and I said, okay, let's assume that we want to take a trade, uh, that we want to go long when the trend is bullish and that we want to go short when the trend is bearish but we want to use the ema as a filter okay so what do we need to know we need to know how to properly read a trend you guys know that or if you don't know that there is a video that looks just like this on this channel i will also link it down in the description and i will link it at the end of this video so go ahead and learn how to properly read the trend uh and after that when you know how to read a trend that that's our first filter because we want to first see, okay, we are in a bullish trend right now. We want to go long and we will go long. Let's just assume when the price comes below the EMA 20 and then closes above the uh, EMA 20. That's our signal. And our stop loss will be few pips or ATR pips below the last swing low or high to i know it's a lot of to consume at this moment but let me show you on the charts uh believe me on one thing i haven't tested this yet this will be my first testing the rule just came out you know on top of my on top of my mind and i said okay let's test it it might be a good strategy you might even uh, use it eventually okay so yeah let's just dig into charts first of all when you're creating a strategy you want to stick to your rules okay you want to stick to every you are not you should not take any positions which uh which would be against your rules we always have to take only rule based positions okay so let's go let's find a, a trend okay so we said that we want to go bearish when we are in a bearish trend which makes sense obviously so let me bring my data box here okay uh, I'm gonna expand it. We see RSI, we see, we see ATR, so we have everything we need here. So bearish trend is defined by three-point move, making like let's say that this is our initial uh, move here. Uh, what? Well, not this is our initial move, right? So we have a three-point move, right? 
uh, we are in a bearish trend. But there is also a video on this channel where you can learn how to properly read the bearish or bullish trend. So check it out. Now, to go bearish, we need a close above EMA 20 and then a close below EMA 20. Okay, so here we 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 got to the EMA 20, but we didn't close above it. So we made a new low. We got back to EMA 20, but we didn't close above. So we got back down. Okay, we didn't make a new low. So this is something that you got to learn as well to read the price. And here we got back up. Okay, so we closed above the EMA 20, right? That is correct. Now we are waiting for a signal to close below the EMA 20 right now guys this is one important thing okay uh i'm gonna show you uh how to explain this the thing is here that i'm trading in hindsight okay i actually see that this trade is gonna win but here when we go here at the right part of a chart we don't know what's future gonna bring so we will back test the few bearish trades and then we will go to test the bullish trends uh, bullish trades where we do not see the future. That's how you got to do it candle by candle. I will explain why this video might be long as 20, maybe 30 minutes, but it, it will definitely help you if you implement the uh, strategies and the approach to the markets and to creating your strategy, like I'm going to show you and stick with it. You'll definitely have eventually a winning system. You, you will have confidence in your trading. And there is a higher chance you're increasing your ch chance of becoming a consi uh, consistently profitable trader. Okay, so if we were to trade this live, we would have this kind of a chart, right? And then we would look, move, 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 double bottom. Actually, we have a double bottom, and now we are see we have a close above this, above the EMA 20, a close below EMA 20. Okay, now what we gotta do is write down uh, the ATR of this candle that closed below the EMA 20 okay the ATR here if you take a look at the data box okay is what the ATR of this candle is 15.7 pips so let's just around it for 16 pips above the recent swing high which was this okay so 16 pips above this candle here would go uh, what 35 there we go so that would be our stop loss. Sorry. This is our stop loss. This is our entry. So let's create a box. Okay. Do. Oh, sorry. Let's color it in red or in deep pink, <laughs> whatever. This is our stop loss. And let's say that we want to do, uh, we want to trade one for one. One, one to one risk to reward for our first targets and let's say two to one for our two targets okay so what do we gotta do we gotta copy this twice did i copy yes copy this twice and then can i move this yeah okay so we can do that and this is our targets two which will be in dark green and this would be this will be our target one light green yellowish okay so what do we do so we just enter entered the market now we are moving candle by candle okay boom price goes against us price starts heading in our way and we hit did we hit we'll see okay we hit our targets one I would not say that we would hit it here. I think we would hit it here. So after hitting our targets one, let's assume that we uh, we trail our stop loss to break even, okay? And we just uh, leave the second part of a position, second half of a position to, you know, to keep running. So we, we see up and we hit targets two. At this point, we have something. We have a first trade that we took and we got to note it down in our Excel spreadsheet. So let me bring the Excel spreadsheet here. Okay. We have this Excel spreadsheet and what do we do? The price point of an entry was a lower low. The first candle that closed below the EMA 20, the price was uh, one point, you see one, five, nine, eight, seven. So the first is the entry date. Okay. So we got to bring our, uh, the entry date is, first of what is it october 2018 
okay so we got to put this in let me try do this okay first of october october 18th entry time was what was the entry time of a candle noon okay sorry i think i gotta switch this to yeah currency pair was that was euro dollar i believe euro dollar chart was our our one trading system is uh the, uh, here i put my trend transit let's call it a trend system okay trend system type of entry was that my long my short position atr on a candle that got uh where we got involved was what how much we said 15 16 pips okay 16 pips of atr uh, this is nothing entry price what was the entry price 1599 yeah 1599 1.1599 initial stop loss what was the price of initial stop loss is here 1635 1.1635 1 target one was one to one risk to reward was this 1563 1.1563 sorry it's actually one Target true price is 1.1527, 1.1527. Okay. Target tree price, we, well, I don't have this in a strategy, so I can hide it. I can actually hide the CTS score as well because it's not going to be used here. Close date. Now, for the close date, because we were trailing two positions or half, of, we took half of a position out on targets one uh i'm putting close date eventually i'm putting putting a close date the date when my stop loss got hit for break even on a second position or when the second targets got hit in this case my second targets got hit on this candle right here which was at second of october okay so second of october of 18 close time the candle got hit at eight in the morning uh, position one exit was target one one five six three and position two was one five twenty seven one five twenty seven position three we don't have a position tree so we can hide this we can hide chart notes as well and rules follow we did follows we didn't make any rules so we netted how much let's see this eight hundred and eight pips on this trade now we are moving forward I'm just gonna put this on the side and let's see how the market will react down the road. Okay, so now we need another trade. Okay, we got a candle closed above the EMA 20. Yes, we need a candle for to entry again. We need a candle to close below. And I think this one did. Yes, as you can see, the candle did close below this. So it's five o'clock and the candle did close. What do we need? We need to place our stop loss where do our stop losses go it goes atr above the previous swing high this is a swing high atr of this candle is 17 pips we can round it for a pip more so it's 18 for example that's just you have to rule based it okay so we rounded the previous stop loss this one but let's round it this one so 18 pips above this it's on 88 okay 88 around this level box this is our stop loss let's put it in red crimson what is our target one one to one risk to reward okay target two is two to one okay so let's put this two to one let's change the colors of this of these boxes into green because these are our targets for rest green for targets two and for targets one let's put something green yellow as we did before okay so now we see now let's wait to see what's price action gonna do start rolling down rolling down up we got closed out okay so the price action actually hit our stop loss so what do we gotta do now we have to bring our excel spreadsheet and let's bring this trade in a Excel spreadsheet. So let, let, let's do this. This is not 
this is not happy situation, but it is what it is. So you have to uh, write all of the trades within the spreadsheet so that it can do uh, uh, the filtering and the tune up later. Okay, so the entry enter, uh, entry date was this at five o'clock p.m. second of October. Okay, five o'clock second of October, eighteen five o'clock. It's your dollar, our one. It's our trend system. The position was short. Short ATR was 18 pips, if I remember. Entry price was uh, what 1550. Okay, 1.1550. Oh, initial stop loss was 1588. One five, yeah, okay, 1.1588. Target one price was. 1.1513, 1.1513, and target two price was 1.1475, Close date, the candle that closed us out was this candle, so it's 3rd of October. Uh, what time was it? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. So it's 3rd of October, 3 o'clock in the morning. Position one was 1.1588. We hit our stop loss and we hit our stop loss with our position two. Okay, so on this trade we lost 76 pips. Okay, now let's move forward. You see, this is how you properly backtest. This is how you create your strategy. For every strategy that you think of, and if you want to properly backtest it, you have to know you have to write down hundred trades or a minimum of five years worth of data. Okay. So we have two, we have to get 98 more. There we go. We are, are we in a trend? Are we looking for any trades right now? No. Why? Because we are not in a bullish trend. We are not in a bearish trend because our previous, let me see. We have to know how to read a trend. Our previous outside return, which was this here little thingy, got breached. breached. We closed above it. So we need a three point move. So we are not looking for trades until we get a three point move. You see this? If we were to have a higher stop loss, we would win both targets. That's why it's important to backtest maybe different sizes stop loss as well. But that's completely up to you. So we have a continuation of a bearish trend. We have another pullback. Now we did close above the MA20. Now we need to close below to go short. Boom, we did close below, did we? Yeah, so in three in the morning, we closed below, it's 5th, 5th of October, so let's write it down. So what's the ATR of this candle is uh, nine pips, so let's circle it for 10 pips and let's look at our previous swing high, which wouldn't in this case be this one, but this one, okay? And the high of this is 42, 43, so we need to go 10 pips above it, which is, let's set it up. 10 pips is 52, it's on this. Okay, so we have our entry position right there, okay? So I'm gonna, we need again to copy this twice and set our targets. Our target one would be here and our target two would be here. Uh, target two, let's put in short toes, color, and target one, let's put them in uh, dark sea green color. Okay, and uh, risks, let's put in crimson. Let's see now what the price action will do. Obviously, you got to put this into Excel spreadsheet as well. Now, let's move. What's going to happen? Did we, ah, let's see. No, we leave the trade open until one of the two, two things happen. Either we get stopped out, as we almost did here. You see, the price wicked down, wicked up to our stop loss, but it, we didn't get hit. Then start reversing. We will see what's gonna happen. Our targets one got hit. Okay, so what do we do here? We put this in Excel spreadsheet and we trail our stop losses from here down to break even so we do not get stop loss. I'm going to put a line here. So our new stop loss 
we trailed our stop loss from here to this level. Now we keep the, in the, we stay in the trade. What's gonna happen? Let's bring our charts up a little bit. Targets to are here. See this psychological battle, and we got stopped out. Okay, so this trade is very good example of how emotions, you know, can. Uh, this is this. If you were to trade it live as a beginner, uh, you would be really emotional in in many cases. For example, look at this. Is Tari rallying down after our entry? Started pushing back up to almost hit our stop loss. We were like what, maybe two pips away. Then started rallying back down, hit our targets, reversed a little bit, almost hit our stop loss for a break even for a second position. Rallied down, almost to hit our targets, few pips away from it, ten pips, and then actually took us off, took us out on a break even position. So we gotta put that in into our Excel spreadsheet, we, we hit both, we hit just one target. I'm going to show you how to put it in. Okay. Let me just bring my Excel spreadsheet here. Okay. There we go. So what do we have? Uh, data box. Ah, sorry. We got to get back in the chart here. Okay. Excel spreadsheet. So our entry price point was at the level of what? 1508. Okay. So we put an entry price entry date was uh 5th of October 2018 5th of October 2018 uh around what time it was 3 in the morning was it well, it was 3 in the morning so we got to put that in as well uh depends on the time zone of course some for somebody it might be morning our one was chart interval it was our trend system we again got short the ATR of this candle was uh 9 pips we circle it on 10 so uh, we put around numbers. Entry price was uh, 1.1505 1 roughly, was it? Yeah, 1508. Initial stop loss was 1552, 1 1.1552. Target warm price was uh, 1465, 1.1465. 1 Target two price was uh, 1421, 1.1421. Close date. Now remember, we put a date of uh, when the second position, second part of a position was taking off, uh, which was this here. Okay, so it's 10th of October and one in the morning. So 10th of October, one in the morning. Position one was taking off at target one. So we make 43 pips here on a second position. We broke even, so we didn't make money. We didn't lose money. So we were taking out on our entry entry position. So overall across three trades uh, within just, you know, few days in, in the October, we are up 75 pips. Okay. And that's how you actually build a trading strategy. But you got to have at least, as I said previously in this video, at least 100 trades or five years worth of data uh, again this is this entire strategy was uh, just made up by me completely i haven't seen it anywhere i just you know i just thought of it it would be cool to see it for this this strategy to make it work for you you gotta know how to properly read the trend then uh so we are still after this we made made a new low but but we breached the trend okay we did took one position here. We bridged the trend. Our previous, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see this. So this is a new low, outside return, new low. The previous outside return, which is this candle right here, this level. This is our level. The previous outside return has been breached. Now we need to make a new higher high, which is here. We, we got a new higher close above the pre uh, so it's we have our new initial point higher, first initial high outside return new high to go long we would now need to break to candle to price action to close below EMA 20 and then after it's closed we need to close above EMA 20 we didn't close below we are still bullish bullish didn't close we might close below let's see this we did close below now we need to close above this is our entry point and this is our last swing so atr is 18 uh is 11 pips it's actually 12 pips so let's put this 
so 12 pips below this is 6 I believe it was 76 yes let's see this is this now I need to add 3 pips yeah okay so I think it's it's around this level let's just see how this strategy is working I might even test it out so uh, risk two more five so yeah so risk to reward let's see did this this correctly yeah around that level pip here pip there you gotta be precise but in this case you know uh, I'm just proving this to you in a video how to properly do it it's pip here or there one matter at all because when you do it you have to be precise so uh, dark green let's put dark green for a second target uh, where, where is it green yellow for first target green yellow and now what would happen okay so now we see how obviously you gotta put this in Excel spreadsheet until on this last trade I will not do so I will just see and move candle by candle to see uh, are we gonna win or not we still are not stopped out here here we are we are stopped out on our first bullish uh, bullish trend trade and so we gotta put this down currently we're up 75 pips on this here we lost uh, we lost 44 so we are still 30 pips up if you want to tra trade this kind of a strategy or build your own strategy this is a correct way and only way to do it properly so that you can gain that confidence uh, and start trading your system your strategy live this is everything there is for to building a system and if you have uh, more and more strategies if you add more strategies to your system obviously your returns are going to go up but you have to backtest everything because that gives you confidence to trade it live live with that being said if you like it click that like button click that subscribe button smash that bell button and again thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and talk to you soon bye bye